Oh, Chloe, we did it. It's here. It's launch day. I, I haven't looked at the stats lately, but Chloe is my uh, illustrator for our collaborative book, Never Mind the Monkey Mind. And uh, I had Chloe do part of the dedication too. And it's funny because I dedicated it to my grandchildren and she dedicated it to her grandmother. So I thought that was interesting that <laughs> we did that. The grandmothers are winning there. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, right? <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> little role reversal. Yes, little role reversal. Boom, boom. <laughs> so I just want to thank you for helping me bring this book to life. Um, I had a dream of trying to find a way to help children deal with the negative thoughts in their minds. And one day I just absolutely, I don't remember if it was on TV or read it in a book, I heard monkey mind. And that just resonated with me. And I thought, hmm. And then one day, never mind the monkey mind, because I thought I want them to delete that thought. So if you say never mind, if you look that up in the dictionary, it just means to just push it aside. And I thought that's what they need to know that they can do with thoughts that they, they don't really like, or they're not serving them right. and they have so mm -hmm. many of them. So this book was just to bring awareness yeah. around that. And you just did such a beautiful job with the illustrations. I love the colors and the, the monkeys are hysterical. <laughs> they're just so <laughs> cute. And the boy in the story, we didn't, we didn't set this out to work out this way, but I gave Chloe, Chloe complete creative I said, do, do what you see as the mm -hmm. illustrator. And he looked just like a boy that I had had that actually, I just really, by asking him a question one day in class, I found out how we could change his fixed mindset to a growth mindset. And it completely made it so that he could learn to read. So it, it, amazing. it just was an amazing yeah. um, journey and collaboration. And I just thank you for that. Oh my gosh. No, it was my pleasure. And it's been such a long time in the making. I don't think people are even aware of we, how long we've been working together on this. So it's really like nice years. to see it come to fruition. So like I think yeah. three years ago, A Dare to Dream, when I told you about. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We listened to that. We, you sang the song we were yeah. listening. Yeah. We, we talked all about that. And yeah. I still have the, even the, the little mock-ups. Too. I was looking at them today and I'm like, it's so crazy to see how everything's come together. And it's such like, it's, it's such a feeling of satisfaction. And, and it's like, finally, like you hear the story oh. and you have all these things in your head and you can't share it with anyone. No. So it's really nice. And you deserve all of that. So I'm so excited oh, for well, you. Thank you. And I, you know, like I said, this, there's so many stories around this. And one of the stories was I had I'd done the song originally to a tune that everybody knew. And then somebody said, well, then you're going to get the rights to that. And I thought, well, I'm a songwriter. I'll just do an original song. I'll just write my own. Then I don't have to worry about that. So I changed it, but they're exact same words. So, yeah. And it, and it's so catchy. It really is. And I, um, just singing it today. I said, I had it stuck in my head on the car ride here. I was listening to one of the lives today in my car ride home and yeah. I, was, I found myself. Singing, yeah. You came is, on honestly, with Angela, <laughs> didn't you? Somebody else that you. Yes, asked. I did during my lunch break. Yeah. yeah that was but it's such fun. a good thing too, that it's so, it, you, you created it in such a way that little kids, it's very simplistic language that they're going to be able to really mm -hmm. um, wrap their head around at any age, which is yeah. so nice. And you know what? I've had adults tell me of some of the things that I've had the book at. This is really a, a book for any age. And I said, yeah, it is. Because I have a confession to make, Chloe. I struggled with my own monkey mind a great deal of my life. And until I started studying personal development, I didn't know why. And mm -hmm. when I found out that there's things we have to do to train our mind. Uh, to stay in the present moment, to not worry about what happened yesterday, and to not be anxious about what could happen tomorrow. 
and to stay in that present moment and find joy and peace in that time. And so that is what I'm trying to um, bring across to children and not only the children, but the caregivers. And I just, I think with the questions yeah. that I asked, there'll, there'll really be some authentic conversations. I use that word a lot now because I'm working with Angela as one of the mm-hmm. co-producers on that. And, uh, uh, I just really believe that we've got to have those conversations um, to really Absolutely. help each other deal with negativity because our world and is now more than ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a it's a tough time for kids to be growing up. Mm-hmm. Um, Very tough. So this is it's a it's so exciting that I had the pleasure of being a part of something like this that's so positive and bringing that message into the world and going into libraries and schools and things like that. And you, you exude positivity. And, um, I just think this, I mean, today is only launch day. It's only launch day. <laughs> this is true. It's going to continue. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's just going to, it's going to be nonstop. So you prepare not to sleep for a while, right? Well, I want to <laughs> tell you, I haven't told anybody of this today on my lives, but I, we had Chinese last night. John says, Oh, you're so busy. Just pick something up. And, and guess what my what my uh, fortune was? You may find your horizon suddenly broadened. <laughs> Isn't that ironic? Okay, I think you might be right <laughs> on that one. Because Chloe, what it's going to do is I'm going to get back in classrooms, and that yeah, is, I had no idea how I was going to make that happen. I didn't worry mm-hmm. about the how. I just I just kept the why there and. The, pe- the right people, Kate came into my life early on and I did a couple stories with her and the Spired Impact. You were in that in series. Which book were you in again? In Illuminate. Yes, you were in Illuminate with Angela. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. Yes. And, and so I just, I just thought, you know, you're a K-12 reading specialist. You've taught hundreds of kids to read. Write your own book. That's your dream. Mm-hmm. And do a song with it. And I wasn't sure what I was going to do it on. And I thought, well, do it on something you struggle with yourself mm-hmm. because you've got a personal connection to it. And then you've got a connection to it based on the students in your classroom that you helped overcome their own um, negativity and self-doubts to get to, you know, uh, uh, where they believe they can do it. And we all have to believe if, if our own mind, it's like I say in the book, mm-hmm. what you say to your mind, your mind then says to you, it all starts with your words, which you have the power to choose. And I want kids to know they have that power. Absolutely. And they Absolutely. Do that, but everybody does. Yeah. So. That's why it really is not just for children at all. No. Uh, I mean, The illustrations are fun and they're going to grab the children, which, you know, is my goal. But at the end of the day, the parents are going to be the ones reading it to them. So that's really where you're kind of hitting all those different, you know, age groups and demographics and all that stuff. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's been fun. It's been a fun journey. And, uh, you know, I woke up this morning with my own little monkey mind just going, I go, no, no, no. I got you under control. <laughs> we're just going to let this all happen and we're yeah. going to stay in the moment today. And it's been fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, what, what a day I, you've had. Oh, it has <laughs> been fun. Yeah. We'll just see how, how it ends. We're just going to keep going here. And uh, I don't know. I, I, as a, as an educator in the classroom now, what, have you seen, I'm just curious, what have you seen the biggest difference for students to be uh, since COVID hit? Um, I think socially, it's really impacted them um, and their social development in terms of interactions with their peers um, and their teachers, Mm. you know, for a while, just, you know, not being able to hug a child, that's kind of hard because that's like a big thing, you know, I fell in love with teaching, but I I love being around the kids and having those interactions and building those relationships. So it's, that was a really tough thing. And I've noticed that kind of has been a really, has caused that really big gap Mm -hmm. um, in their growth in terms of where they are. And that's, I mean, that goes for, you know, 
family members of mine too, that are in that age group that they're really struggling as well. You know, the fear of being around someone and being closer than six feet or things like that, you know, it can be, it can be hard. Yeah. It's, yeah. So I think that's changed. It's changed that for everyone. Mm -hmm. And, and it it has been hard. We haven't seen our grandchildren in Australia for three years in person. Absolutely. Oh yeah. But um, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to the day when we can, I don't think we'll ever any of us take that for granted again. Um, when we no, absolutely it, not. Yeah. Out. And I, I believe it'll come. It's just, uh, oh, definitely. It just takes time. So positive thoughts. Exactly. Yeah. And so I, <laughs> I find it, I, you know, I found it really helpful for me to be working on a project like this during this time, because oh, it definitely kept me getting up every day, knowing my purpose mm-hmm. and knowing what I wanted this to you know, just be a a gateway to conversation again. Right. So, and Chloe Chloe not only does, did my illustration, she's done for many other people. And I, I gave John your, uh, Kate's name. And I think you've done the illustrations for his book. Yeah. I'm excited (laughs) about that. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. And he's, he's great. Everyone that you, and Dr. Angela, Mm -hmm. um yeah it's been it's been such a fun last few years for sure hasn't it though it's exciting because my own yeah my own library is growing at my own house so it's it's (laughs) nice you know to have that and there what's really nice too is um working with Kate the the public like the authors that she brings in the stories are all so educational and positive, you know, and so being able to work on books that are spreading such a positive message mm-hmm. is very um, uplifting and therapeutic, you know, a little cathartic for me as well as the artist. Yeah. Well, I, I, I just find that, you know, for the people that we met on this journey have really made this be um, a unique and incredible experience for all of us, I know. And Absolutely. I, I just thank you for being a part of this book because these illustrations are just absolutely incredible. Oh, thank you, Denise. Yeah. It's been a pleasure working with you. Well, I'm, 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 I'm sad it's like at this point because I'm like, oh, there's no more <laughs> phone calls just yet. Hopefully- yeah. In the near future. Uh, yeah. Well, then maybe I should just put a little tease out. We've got the, this is a series <laughs> and I've got the song done for the second one. So I'm working oh, on, the, yeah. working on the words and uh, hope we can collaborate again because this next Absolutely. one is, is a very valuable message too. So I'm so excited. Okay. Well, thanks for coming on with me, Chloe. And, um, Uh, again, so much gratitude to you. Thank you for having me, Denise. Okay. We'll talk later. Bye.